are the six a loving duty to serve the creator and the creation one universal god an ideal human being characterized by love selflessness integrity responsibility and accountability empowered to be an agent for good one who is armed with both the wisdom and virtue of a saint together with the courage and fearlessness of a soldier and promoting religious freedom and so may i relentlessly continue to do all that is good and right until my last breath and this next one is a seek lifetime achievement award it is presented to a seek who has made a significant contribution to sikhism on a global scale an individual who has demonstrated a positive impact on society whilst progressing sikhism to a higher level let me welcome mr maminder singh jandin and shamira dos mohammed who is the vp of the ismaili community if you would both come up please your excellency deputy president of the republic of kenya distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen it is indeed my great honor and privilege to introduce the next category of the award having witnessed some outstanding great achievers in various categories this next category of award is the lifetime achievers award which will be awarded to an individual of the sikh community and for us to appreciate this special award it is important for us to understand what it means to be a life achiever when we as individuals have a goal and achieve it we feel a sense of self satisfaction but when that goal goes beyond oneself or one's family when it goes beyond its community and country when it is not self serving then that person deserves to be recognized not only by the sikh community but by the wider population names of some great lifetime achievers that come to my mind for example are florence nightingale for her selfless care to take care of the sikh and wounded but then someone more closer to home to our very own mangari mathai who fought tirelessly towards the environment not only for us but for the future generations such selflessness in selfless individuals and lifetime achievers exist in every community and many such individuals do not do this seva or service for recognition but more out of their love for humanity in general these individuals exist in many different environments such as in the family in the community and within society at large today we will hear and honor one such individual being recognized for his selfless lifetime devotion and service not only to the sikh community but to this great nation of ours thank you and god bless Seek Lifetime Achievement Award sponsored by All Sereni. This year's winner is Sada Hindpal Singh Jabal, Kenya. Hindpal Singh is the former chairman of Energy Regulatory Commission and son of late Makan Singh, freedom fighter and the forgotten hero of Kenya's pre-independence era. He has rendered a long time and distinguished service to Kenya's power sector spanning more than 50 years. He joined KPLC, now Kenya Power, in 1961 as a junior engineer and took an early retirement in 1987 while serving as corporate planning manager. Since leaving KPLC, he has been general manager and CEO of a utility in the West Indies, technical advisor to Kenya's Ministry of Energy, and finally was chairman of energy regulatory commission of kenya from 2007 to 11 currently he is involved in the development of various renewable energy projects mainly in an advisory capacity
Over the past few years, he has made several presentations in international conferences like EAPIC and IRENA, and has published several articles in the local press, including Kenya Engineer and the Journal of Institution of Engineers of Kenya. Your Excellency, Banaruto, I've always called you Banaruto. My very respected Paisab, whom I have known almost all my life because we grew together and when we were very young. I'm extremely honored to be awarded this, this this award for the contributions I have made in the power sector. But more than me, this award should go to the entire power sector fraternity who have allowed me to continue working and making a major contribution in all sectors of the power sector. And uh, I may add, I also happen to be son of a great father. And it's such a coincidence that in the year that my father was released from his detention, I had joined Kenya Power Lighting, it used to be called East African Power Lighting, in 1961. And the reason I'm saying that I'm most grateful to the government, the various presidents who have allowed me to play a leadership role and given me the opportunity to work in this sector for almost 57 years. And I'm deeply honored that the Sikh community, the diaspora, and the fraternity has honored me with this reward. And I'm also grateful to the deputy president, whom I have known for a number of years, and perhaps he knows me a little bit, of being so gracious and present in this auditorium. Ladies and gentlemen, from 1961, I joined power lighting in the colonial government. I have worked with all the presidents going back to Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, Daniel Apmoy, Mwai Kibaki, and now the current president, who happens to be the son of a great father like I happen to be. <laughs> and please, Bonaruto, do pass my regards to the president. I'm most grateful. Mr. Deputy President, my work, although I'm getting this award, hasn't finished yet. The reason I'm saying this thing, I have spent almost my entire life in the sector. But it is, as you know, the people who live here, it is facing several challenges. Selling challenges on the institutional setup, poor generation and transmission planning, unreliable distribution network, inordinate delays in completion of several projects, 
and of course, high cost of electricity. This lifetime award has given me the encouragement and impetus to continue working in this sector, whether it is voluntarily, whether it is advisory or much, in whichever way I can continue to do so. But, Mr. Deputy President, I cannot continue doing this work alone. This is a very major task. And I think we all join, we have got excellent talent in this country, whom I know, some of them I have nurtured. So, Mr. Vice President, I think to turn around the power sector and bring it to the height that it deserves, not only in this region, but the entire African continent, I think you have to set up a special task force to, share, to face all the challenges, get the people you have in the, in the sector, in the country, to help you achieving those great heights. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I wanted to say on the power sector. But there's another thing which is very, very close to my heart. We, the Sikh community, came into this country around 1893, 94, somewhere there. I know my own grandfather came here in 1920. We have done major contribution in all sectors of economy, economy in this country, especially technical section, workshops, manufacturing industry, commerce, transport industry, and a lot of other industries. And I think we have also made, made major contribution in all professions in this thing. But I was now looking at the big four, or the special court, that, the, the agenda that we had. And one of, the, one of the key things there is manufacturing. I think I should urge my fellow countrymen, especially the six, that they must devote some time in passing their experiences to the younger generations who should be coming to set up the new industry. But at the same time, we can never depend on people from outsiders, whether even, even the Asian community has made major, uh, done major work in this, in this um, manufacturing industry. But we must encourage our young African entrepreneurs, engineers, and all that thing to start taking a serious interest in the manufacturing sector. Because if we don't do, no matter how much help we get from others, we cannot succeed in achieving our goal. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a great challenge to my Sikh community, but it is also a great challenge to the entire country that if we have to grow industrially or in this thing, we must bring new talent into the sector and our African friends must take a keen interest as India did it, China did it, Japan did it. It is their people who are running the industry, not outsider. With those few remarks, thank you very much again for giving this honor to be present with you. <laughs>